Today we're here to honor our, our 2013 Women in Business. This is something that we've done every year for, for more than a decade now to recognize women who've really made a substantial contribution both to the community and specifically to the business community. The Business Report wants to support anything and promote anything that is about Baton Rouge business, but I think particularly for women because, you know, traditionally women have, have been slower to enter the workforce and we've made so many great strides in the past two and a half decades that I think to call special attention to the accomplishments of women and to really highlight what they have done is important, particularly in a small community in the South, you know, I think maybe somewhere in, in New York or Los Angeles or bigger markets, people take it for granted. But I think here in the South, we still need to make people really aware of how influential, how important, how talented women business leaders are. We solicit nominations, so the exciting thing is that the ladies that we are recognizing today have been nominated by their peers, by their co-workers, by their friends and families and colleagues and the people who know them best. So we get hundreds of resumes. We on the editorial staff of the Business Report don't have anything to do with it. There is an independent committee that has some representation from our company but also other business leaders in the community and they ultimately vet the nominations nominees and decide who makes the final cut. You are an honoree today. How do you feel about that? Well, I am stunned. Uh, when they called, I was just absolutely stunned. It took me several days to even get my head around it all, but I'm honored and thrilled and really ecstatic. Much to my surprise, I was chosen as one of the nine today, and I'm very honored to be here with the other eight women who will be honored today. I'm passionate about mentoring women. I am in the EJ Uso College of Business and he was the ult EJ was the ultimate entrepreneur and so one of my greatest joys is mentoring our business students, our MBA students, our college business students and talking to them about the myriad of opportunities that are available in business and so I'm very passionate about helping them achieve their goals. I help recruit them from around the country and so it's it's the future, and when I was in school a long time ago, business was not necessarily an option, so I'm very passionate about young women knowing they have options. I am honored to be one of the ones that were nominated. I was actually just blown away, but at the same time knowing that I do believe about empowerment of building women up. And so every day I live to make a difference, to help a woman believe they could become all that God created them to be. How do you feel about being an honoree here today? Are you excited? I am extremely excited, very honored. I just feel that sometimes people don't realize kind of what we do um, in this Mary Kay world, um, but we do make a difference and, and it's about reaching out and touching one woman's life one day at a time. I'm, I am so excited. You know, I, I feel as if any recognition I get is really because of the work that the people who work for me do. The, 1,900 people at Blue Cross Blue Shield and our 1.5 million members really deserve all the credit. What is your vision for the future of women in business? I think that the glass ceiling is going to crack open. If you look at the demographics, women are getting over 50% of the medical degrees, 50% of the law degrees, 50% of the CPA degrees. So I think that the glass ceiling is going to disappear because so many talented women are getting all the advanced education. They are stepping out. They are standing on our shoulders. And so I believe that women are going to continue to do great things for this country. And tell me about the, your vision for the future of women and entrepreneurship or business in general. I believe that women in the future will all be entrepreneurs. I believe that. I believe the day-to-day -day, um, clocking in, clocking out is going to come to an end because life is too short and women do desire more. They, they want that executive income, but they want the life. And so I believe that one day, no matter what business it may be, they are all going to desire to have their own business. Are you excited about being honored? How do you feel about that? Oh, I think it's great. I think there's so many deserving people in the Baton Rouge community, so just to be selected and pointed out um, is terrific. And how do you feel about the importance of honoring women in this fashion? Oh, I think it's tremendous. I think, uh, especially in the South, I think there's so many few women mentors that can take on younger women and show them how you can be a leader in business and it's hard to balance everything and I 
really pride myself on mentoring young women and this is a great way for the business report to highlight women and show other young women that there are women out there they can call upon to get advice and talk to. So you are one of the honorees. Tell us how you feel about that. Well, I feel very proud about it. I've lived in Baton Rouge my entire life and uh, have worked my entire career here in Baton Rouge. And uh, so I feel very honored. And I read the business report every week and read it every day. So I'm um, very, very pleased. I think mentorship with uh, for women is extremely important and I think it's a role that those of us that have been in business or in an industry for a long time have a, an obligation to mentor and share. Tell us uh, how you feel about being honored today. Totally shocked, surprised and uh, just overwhelmed about it and uh, it's really one of the highlights of my entire career. It's interesting because I've had several people in the last few weeks tell me that I have been a mentor to them. I never thought of myself as a mentor or a role model, but you do those kinds of things without really realizing the impact you have on people who come behind you, people who work under you, people who um, respect you, and you don't even really know it. So it's been very rewarding for me, just coincidentally, to have three or four people in the last week say that I had been a mentor to them. This is my first event and it's exciting because uh, it's a way to let women know that we value you and we recognize the impact that you have on the business community. And you're an honoree today, how do you feel about that? Well, somewhat overwhelmed, but I, as, as I told other people when I came, I just do my job and, and, and part of doing my job, if that means I'm recognized that would, that's great, but I just feel it's important to impact this community in such a way that uh, it won't ever be the same. And that, that is why I think it's important to just do what I do. And I'm grateful, I'm just grateful. And you're an honoree, tell me how you feel about that. Oh, I'm so honored, and I really especially am honored because of the fact that I work with a nonprofit, and I'm so proud that they recognize that Volunteers of America is a business and we work like a business. I think women play such an important role in Baton Rouge and you just see so many more women being elevated to CEO positions. It's very, very strong. What's your vision for the future of women in business? Oh, my vision is that more will, will join this group. I really do. I think um, it's it, since I've been in Baton Rouge, I've been back here 10 years. I went to LSU, but then I came back. I've seen every year more women promoted into positions that normally were filled by men. I'd just like to thank all my people from Volunteers of America for their support. Our, we have board members here and staff members and my family. My son has come from Richmond, Virginia, so it's really kind of fun. We're celebrating women, women in business, um, successful women in business, influential women in business who've made a mark in their industries or, or in their careers, and it's a, it's a great day for women. Well, it's important to honor these women because they'll serve as a role model uh, for other women. Uh, in business or in certain careers and it's important for other women to see that other women have been uh, successful, that they've overcome obstacles and that they've achieved a great deal uh, and uh, you know are making you know marks uh, in their industries. And tell us what your speech is about today. Well I'll be talking about uh, the importance of, um, uh, of celebrating women of celebrating uh, women uh, in entrepreneurship, um, in helping women uh, to achieve their dreams and their goals. Uh, I'll be talking a lot about the need uh, to have more entrepreneurial activity uh, in this country if we're going to be moving back to full and robust levels of economic growth. I mean, certainly uh, Louisiana uh, has uh, been a great place to do business and uh, is one of the top five places in terms of job creation. So uh, we'll celebrate that. But we'll also talk about the need for more entrepreneurs and to create more jobs because um, the economy uh, has been slow to get back to full levels of growth. And really the solution uh, lies in entrepreneurship. So we'll talk about how to support entrepreneurship and what the U.S. needs to be doing to uh, encourage more entrepreneurship. And what is your vision for the future of women in entrepreneurship? Well, I think, you know, not just entrepreneurship, but just business in general, I think the future is limitless. You look at the statistics nationally, you can see women are doing better and better in education. I mean, they're really surpassing men in so many ways. I think women are poised to do more and better in business now than ever before. 
I think it's so nice that Baton Rouge Business Report honors women and recognizes their contribution to the economy and to the overall uh, well-being of Baton Rouge. I just think the Baton Rouge Business Report is just over the top. I really believe that they have their extreme when it comes to how they promote whatever business or whether it's in real estate or whatever it may be. But this event, um, really, it, it, what they did for us in this magazine, to me, speaks volumes of what they want to portray in this in this community and the women that are making a difference. And so I'm just honored to be a part of the other women that are represented here today. I'm just so grateful to the Baton Rouge Business report and to the other women that I'm in this class with I was really actually excited when I saw all the other women that I was honored with because these are women that I have worked with in different capacities and I know of their strengths and their wonderful ability and whoever made their selections did a very good job because these are great women and I just hope that women will continue to bring on younger women and continue to mentor them and get them into leadership positions. I really hope more women will consider it. I remember growing up and my father was an entrepreneur and he encouraged all of us to do something to take care of yourself, do something to make a difference, but enjoy what you do. And so I would say to women to take advantage of any opportunity that is presented to grow and to really branch out and do what you need to do for yourself. I think the importance of for me is that I will be able to let people know the impact that my agency can have on a community of like of this size. We have an opportunity to really impact the lives of kids, especially in our after school programs throughout the year in our summer camps. We have the ability to make sure the kids are safe by teaching them to swim. We help seniors to stay active and, and, and vibrant and we build community so I'm grateful that I have an opportunity to make sure that people know that. This is the first generation that has a large number of women executives and we're giving them the support and the encouragement is always important and so I look for any opportunity to encourage women to really step out of their comfort zone and be, go beyond the boundaries where women have gone historically. My vision is that we encourage more women to be entrepreneurs. Um, and secondly, uh, to encourage women and to help women uh, to be high growth entrepreneurs. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, we're at a time in the country right now where women entrepreneurship has declined um, and less women want to become entrepreneurs. And I think there's something to do with the economic climate and what happened with the financial crisis and access to capital. Um, but, um, you know, hopefully, we hope this is a blip and not a trend. Um, and we can get more women starting businesses again. I think the other vision that I have is that women um, think big uh, in terms of when they start their businesses. Uh, it, there is, a, a, when women start their businesses, they tend not to be high growth businesses. And a lot of that goes back to the mindset and their confidence. So we want women to have a mindset for growth and to think big when they start their businesses. Because when they do that, they will gravitate to the networks, finances, the capital, the people, uh, and the things that can help them be high growth, and, uh, high growth businesses. So um, again, it's about not only helping more women become entrepreneurs, but helping more women become successful high growth entrepreneurs. We're just happy to be here and, and happy to have such a wonderful group of honorees for 2013.